What's going on today? Uh, this is David again. It's coming to bring you out another video. Uh, this series, because it's going to be multiple parts, it's going to be called Famine and Because of Men's Blood. Um, this video is going to touch again on some subjects that I've already taught. Uh, I did a video called Sit in the Dust, and then I did a video called Thick Clay, I think last year. I think last year about summer. Uh, we're just going to touch on why this famine is going to come. Um, it is because of men's blood, the Israelites' blood that's been shed uh, in the past and still today. Um, the delusion the Lord is going to put you under, put the people who do not fear the Lord under, uh, so that they don't see this curse coming. Um, you Israelites, what's going to happen to you for not studying the word? Um, we're going to definitely deal with Adam and Eve. We're going to deal with Enoch. We're going to deal with Habakkuk. Um, we're going to deal with Isaiah. We're going to deal with Ezekiel. I'm also going to talk about the blood, what the blood means that's been shed, and why that ties into famine. It's one. The famine is going to be the like precursor to the true downfall. Uh, we are that generation that were that spoke about by Christ. Um, you can see it with the people walking around, especially of our people so-called blacks, native indigenous Indians, Hispanics, of native indigenous and Negro descent by the house of their fathers. Um, our people are very uh, degenerate in their act right now. I'm obsessed with money and uh, any folly that can keep them away from the Lord. But the Lord has put that delusion under them and mankind. Um, the righteous, those who've been called out of it, this grace has come upon you to get to know these things. So you can plan and deal accordingly. I will tell you, I'm going to read a, le a speech that was spoken at the BRICS Nations Business Forum in June. Okay, uh, It's by the king over in Russia. Um, when I read this speech, when I saw that taking place, I knew immediately that it was just prophecy coming to pass. And Edom has no idea that everyone is going to align against them. Um. I'm going to read this speech first, and then we're going to get into the scriptures. Uh, first and foremost, let's give all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's give all praises to you, lost sheep of the house of Israel, and mankind who fears God, who are keeping the ordinance. Peace and blessings to you. Uh, famine, because of men's blood. That's right. And the strong delusion that people are under out here, they think everything's going to be okay. Um, I tell you that it is not going to be okay, and it is happening every moment that you're asleep, waking up, going to work. The Lord is bringing this forth. All right, so let me read this letter first from, uh, what's his name, Putin? Excuse me, the speech. Let me give, I'm going to read that, and then we're going to go right into the scriptures. And you're you're going to hear the, the tone in his, this letter, this speech. It was a greeting for all the members who were coming. They're building allegiances for strength. They're going to go and take down the dollar. And the dollar is the world reserve currency. And if that happens, your life will be turned upside down. Upside down. Let's read. Friends, it is my pleasure to welcome representatives of governments and business communities, experts and industry professionals of the BRICS countries, who have gathered at the traditional business forum. The forum indeed plays a large practical role in promoting mutual trade and investment, strengthening cooperation ties, and enhancing direct dialogue between business communities, not only within our association, but also in a broader global dimension. After all, the participants in the BRICS business forum represent the interests of a significant and the most dynamically developing part of the international economic community. That's right. Dynamic economic part. The, the nations that, that used to be called third world or poor are now gaining power. And the nation that was on high is now sinking. It's a curse from the Lord. Let's keep reading. In this regard, I would like to recall that our countries are home to more than three billion people and together account for about a quarter of the global GDP, 20% of trade, and roughly 25% of direct investments, while the total international reserves of the BRICS countries 
as of the beginning of 2022 amount to about 35 percent of world reserves. That's right. BRICS countries. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Okay. And they're figuring out different ways to do trade amongst each other to avoid using the U.S. dollar. Okay, let's keep going. And they're being successful at it. Hence, the high relevance, in our opinion, of the theme of this forum, foster high-quality BRICS partnership, usher in a new era of global development. Global. A new era. What do you think he's talking about? Let's read. It is also important that the agenda of the form is packed with tru truly crucial issues, such as ensuring sustainable growth of the global economy, preserving its openness, increasing cooperation in the field of digital economy, green growth, industry modernization, and building new transport and logistics train logistics chain. Excuse me. That's right. A new era. A new day. That's right. And these group, these nations, many countries are starting to look at the BRICS. Let's read. Russia supports the draft Beijing initiative to be adopted following the form, which reaffirms the termination of BRICS business circles to continue close joint work in all areas mentioned. Entrepreneurs of our countries are forced to develop their business in a challenging environment when the Western partners neglect the basic principles of market economy, free trade, and inviolability of private property. That's right. Who are the Western partners? Who is he talking about? The Seven Mountains. Let's read. Mainly Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Let's read. You'll see. Here we go. They follow, in fact, an irresponsible macroeconomic course, including the launch of the printing press, Thick Clay. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 6. Thick Clay. This is the reasoning behind the nations getting mad at them. Let's read. Uncontrolled emission and accumulation of unsecured debts. Right, because the currency that you have in your wallet that you're holding right now that are in your bank accounts, your 401ks, your Roth IRAs, uh, that you are clutching, that you think is giving you wealth, it is losing its value by the second. And it is absolutely not backed by anything. See, their currencies are backed by the world reserve currency, which is the U.S. dollar. But if they turn from the U.S. dollar, and the U.S. dollar has no backing, what do you think would go to the value of your money? Money, so-called. Currency. Let's call it the right thing. It's currency. It's not money. Money is silver and gold. What we have been taught our whole lives is that currency is money, and that's not true. Let's read. Imagine you wake up one day and you've saved, let's say, $100,000 in your, in your 401k or $200,000 in the savings, whatever. And the next day you wake up, it's worth nothing. It's worth $2,000. And you've worked your whole life for it. That's what will happen. Let's read. Here we go. Now they're going to do a little bit of, he's going to do a little shameful spewing, but in a gentleman way. <laughs> At the same time, more and more politically motivated sanctions are continuously introduced. Mechanisms of exerting pressure on competitors are further strengthened. That's right. People, they don't want people competing against their currency. The dollar. Let's read. There's an intentional destruction of co cooperation ties. Transport and logistics chains are destroyed. And all this is contrary to common sense and basic economic logic. So he's telling you that, that what we've been getting sold is a lie by the Western partners. They're doing it on purpose. Let's read. It undermines business interests of a, on a global scale, negatively affecting the well-being of people. In effect, of all countries. That's right. So he's telling you not only is this printing press uh, childish and foolish, he's also telling you that these, these Western partners are willing to make you starve because they don't like the competition that's taking place with the BRICS nations. 
That isn't what we're really told here. But anyone with sense can see that. Let's keep reading. As a result, the problems in the world economy become recurrent. What we see is an economic slowdown, growing unemployment, shortages in raw materials and components. Problems with ensuring global food security are getting worse. Prices for grain crops and other basic agricultural products are being inflated. So you're, you're dealing with this inflation due to the printing press and this ridiculousness <laughs> that he's talking about to his friends in the BRICS countries. They're all confederate with each other. They understand what's really happening. Let's read. But what these, what BRICS and the Western countries don't, don't know and what the regular citizens, walking, regular citizens walking in the earth don't know is that this is by the hand of the Lord. It's a curse. Let's keep going. It is important that despite all the problems and difficulties, BRICS business circles have been cons consistently enhancing mutual, mutually beneficial ties in the areas of trade, finance, and investment. For example, in the first three months of the year, trade between the Russian Federation and the BRICS countries increased by 38%. So while they're doing all this stuff to us, you know, we're working together. And we're, we're being successful now. We're getting a little power and reach USD $45 billion. Contacts between Russian business circles and the business community of the BRICS countries. Notice how he keeps talking about BRICS. He, he's, he's, he's pitching BRICS. It's not only to the members that are already there, but it's for the world to hear this. You should come over here. Aren't you tired of the abuse? That's right. Let's read. have intensified. For example, negotiations are underway to open Indian chain stores in Russia. Increase the share of Chinese cars, equipment, and hardware in our market. In its turn, Russia's presence in the BRICS countries is growing. There has been a noticeable increase in the exports of Russian oil to China and India. They're all teaming up. It's going to bring war one day. Let's read. Agricultural cooperation is developing dramatically. Russian exports can, Russia exports considerable amounts of fertilizers to the BRICS states. Russian IT companies are expanding their activities in India and South Africa. And our satellites enable TV broadcasting for as many as 40 million residents of Brazil. Together with BRICS partners, we are developing reliable alternative mechanisms for international settlement, settlements. Currency alternatives, not the dollar. Let's read. The Russian financial messaging system is open for connection with the banks of the BRICS countries. The Russian MIR, MIR payment system is expanding its presence. We are exploring the possibility of creating an international reserve currency based on the basket of BRICS currencies. That's right. So what they're going to do is they're going to, well, they're already starting to do it. So they're going to show, they're going to make, the BRICS countries are going to be they're going to make a currency which is backed by their progress. They're going to come away from the U.S. dollar, which is the printing press backed by nothing. They're going to break from it, and they're going to—they're calling people to it. So they're going to make their own currency, which is backed by all the BRICS countries who are showing all this progress, which is giving power to their dollar, their currency that they want to bring forth. Let's read. That's a problem for you. If you live in Babylon, I'm going to tell you right now. You better be very aware and you better start buying the things that you need in your life. It is going to change for you here. Okay? This is going to happen. It's, I'm giving it to you. I've, I've made sit in the dust. I've made thick clay. This is going to happen and it is speeding up. Let's read. The Russian business community, in coordination with the business communities of the BRICS states, takes prompt steps to develop the transport infrastructure. Logistics routes are readjusted. New production chains are created. Right. So basically what he's saying, but it under, basically what he's telling you is that, and he's, he's pitching, right? He's just saying, look, even though we're going through this with the, the Western partners, me and the BRICS, we are doing okay. 
Maybe you should think about this alternative that we have. You see what's happening to us and what's happening and what they're really doing, because these guys really know what's going on. Maybe you should join us. Maybe we should make our own currency. Aren't you tired of the bully? Let's keep reading. You'll see. Hold on a second. I would like to stress that Russia's strategy has not changed while strengthening our economic, technological, and scientific potential. We are ready to work openly with all bona fide partners based on the principles of mutual respect for each other's interests, the primacy of international law, and equality for all nations and peoples. Come on board. Remember, you bring it, you, that's, but it's still under the spirit of Satan because they're still basically the same group. We'll get into that another time. But he brings all people on, to, on board. Right? That's a spiritual, Satan's spiritual thought process. But um, they're going to take down the dollar. Let's read. Don't believe everything you hear. During my address at the recent St. Petersburg's International Economic Forum, I've already spoken in detail about our plans for further economic development and the creation of comfortable conditions for business in general, including foreign business. It is significant that representatives of foreign companies and entrepreneurs who came to St. Petersburg showed their willingness to continue working on the Russian market and adapt to new conditions. So people are they're, they're still doing business. They're just adapting to these sanctions and conditions. Let's read. And we will certainly provide all the necessary assistance to them. In general, I would like to note that Russia is taking comprehensive measures aimed at mitigating the negative impact of sanctions and strengthening our trade and investment relations with all the states concerned. That's right. Our macroeconomic policy shows its effectiveness in practice. Basically, what we do, you see the success. We were able to protect the Russian financial system and begin to stabilize the situation in the industry by providing targeted social support to citizens. That's right. The Russian state, first of all, focuses on stimulating the private initiative. We strive to expand entrepreneurial freedoms by reducing the administrative burden, launching new easy term lending programs. So basically, it's going to start what they already did here, but they can do it, right? In introducing tax and customs exemptions, you can import your goods to us and not have to deal with it. He's a, uh, yeah, he's a, uh, yeah, man, he's slick. <laughs> we are actively engaged in redirecting our trade flows and foreign economic contacts to reliable international partners, first of all, the BRICS countries. That's right. And there's more to, it's only a little bit more. But I'm not going to go deep into it because um, that pretty much sums up the bulk of it. Uh, the beasts of the field are turning away from the serpent. That's right. The water, they're not drinking the water anymore. Taught you this on Sit in the Dust. Told you this on Thick Clay. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you to you again. We're going to go right into the scriptures. We're going to start with the first book of Adam and Eve. And let's get it. Prepare yourself. Do not be foolish out here. You can buy a can of soup, you better buy three. Let's read. First book of Adam and Eve, chapter 17, verses 1 through 6. Mm, excuse me. Then Adam and Eve came out of the mouth of the cave and went towards the garden. But as they drew near to it, before the western gate, from which Satan came when he deceived Adam and Eve, they found the serpent that became Satan coming out the gate. Right. You were deceived in the West. You Israelites, you were deceived in these Western countries, especially Babylon. Sorrowfully licking the dust and wriggling on its breast on the ground by reason of the curse that fell upon it from God. Right. This is part of the curse. This is going to this is going to bring the serpent down. OK, he's going to sit in the dust. OK, let's read famine. And whereas after time the serpent was the most exalted of all beasts, now it was changed and become slippery. That's right. Nobody want, They don't want to deal with him anymore. He was the most exalted. He used to get the honor when he would go into different countries. He brought all his plans and ways to him. 
you brought them work, they can make products for them, but now it's slippery, the printing press, right? Let's read. And the meanest of them all, right, as the serpents are sitting in the dust, you citizens who are in these seven mountains, it's going to be very mean to you. You better have all your stuff in order. Let's read. And it crept on its breast and went on its belly, right, crept on its breast. He's now walking. Now he's now creeping on the ground. He's a slithering serpent. He's been exposed. And now he has no more power. Right? He's going to get very mean. And whereas it was the fairest of all beasts, it had been changed and was become the ugliest of them all. Right? They're going to get very ugly. Nobody likes the serpent anymore. That's right. Instead of feeding on the best food, now it turned to eat the dust. Right? You're going to be in your country. You used to be able to get Lay's potato chips. You might not get them no more. They're going to be some off-brand. They're probably going to come from China somewhere or from Russia, right? Because we're going to be for booties unto them. You're going to have different goods on your shelves that you're not used to seeing because you're sitting in the dust. That's right. Let's keep reading. Instead of dwelling as before in the best places, now it lived in the dust. That's right. It used to be in the best places, right? When the, when the king of Babylon would go to the different countries, they'd come shake his hand you know, hey, we want to do business with you, right? You, you, you as, a, as an Edomite in the world, you would travel around to different countries where the poor were, and people would look at you like, oh, oh, please. You know, they want to do work for you so they can get a tip, or that's going to stop, right? Your international discussions, these, these presidents, they go visit these guys. I was just watching uh, the king over here in Babylon, who, who the king with no clothes on, he... Uh, <laughs> He went to go see uh, the, was the prince in Saudi Arabia. And typically when you meet someone of high stature, you know, they would shake their hand. That's what the, the Gentiles shake hands. That's a sign of, you know, hey, we got a bond. But this was interesting because when, when the king with no clothes on met the, met the prince, the prince gave him a fist bump. He didn't shake his hand. That's very telling. When you do a fist pump, that's what you do with your kids. Someone that you don't pay much. Hey, hey, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? He gave him a little fist pump. All right, come on in. And another thing that was interesting is that uh, in February, uh, the king with no clothes on uh, called or had a conversation with the prince of Saudi Arabia to increase oil production, right? And that was February, and he rejected that 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 request. Typically, that would not be rejected, right? Let me show you this. This is uh, February. This is done in February 15th. <clears throat> so he rejected him, but in uh, March... They took a call from China and the king of Saudi Arabia to accept yuan for oil sales rather than the U.S. dollar. Now, they rejected the United States, but they're thinking about considering taking China's currency for oil. They didn't want to hear from the U.S. anymore. Your old news. We're looking at the progress that's going over here. Now, I don't, uh, the Saudi Arabia is not part of BRICS, but I do see that their ties are getting stronger. Um, I would tell you that this is the beasts of the field are turning away from the water of the serpent. Let's read. You better be diligent. Instead of dwelling as before in the best places, now it lived in the dust. And whereas it had been the most beautiful of all beasts, all of which stood dumb at its beauty, it was now a board of them. Right. They would, you would travel everywhere, eat them. You're a regular citizen. You would travel, like I was just saying, you would travel to countries. Everybody wants to hurry up and scurry and help you. Make sure that you're okay. Make sure you're comfortable because they know you got the money, right? You go to Mexico. You go to all the tourist attractions. You would get treated like kings and queens. Your dignitaries, your politicians, your presidents, they would go to different countries. They get high praise and honor. 
Now that's going away. Now you get the fist pump, and they don't take your calls no more. Sit in the dust. Let's read. And again, whereas it dwelt in one beautiful abode, to which all other animals came from elsewhere, right, everyone came to America, the land of dreams, the golden cup, that's right, and where it drank, they drank also of the same. Now, after it become venomous, right, they're going to stop listening to your ideas and views. Who are you to teach us when you're in debt? That's right. The goggles are going to be removed from the eyes of the people. By reason of God's curse, right, this is the curse that's from God that you're getting the fist bump. It's starting. Let's read. All beasts fled from its abode and would not drink of the water it drank, but fled from it. That's right. They're all going to turn away from the serpent. It's already starting. I'm telling you, people in the world right now, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, of a native indigenous Negro descent by the house of your father, you Gentiles who are in America and abroad who are hearing this video, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're in the countries of those seven mountains, which are discussed in Revelation, they're discussed in Enoch, I'm going to tell you right now, you better make sure you got the things you need in your home. It's going to change. If you have little delicacies that you like, um, women's garments, goods, uh, you know, things that you get shipped in, whatever, you better get all the things you need now. Because in the time to come, things are going to shift. America is going to be sitting in the dust, economically and as a world power. But they're going to get very mean with you. Let's read. They're already starting to try to... You always hear the politicians always blaming people for taxes and all that, all that garbage. It's going to get worse than that. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. Now I'm going to read all the way to 13... And when I get to 13, I'm going to jump to Enoch real quick, and then I'm going to go back to Habakkuk chapter 2, and then I'll start with 14, ending in 20. Um, let's get it, man. Sit in the dust. Famine. This is what's going to bring in your famine, because of men's blood. Because thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. That's right. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. That's right. It shall speak and not lie. That's right. Speak and not lie. See, they're building their currencies up. Top Indian firm pays for Russian coal and yuan. And traders say more buyers could turn to China's currency. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. BRICS developing new global reserve currency. Putin. Speak and not lie. Here it is. The new BRICS alliance is a mortal threat to the West. That's right. Let's get it. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right, he's always in everybody's business. Is that what the boot Putin was saying? So they're, what they're doing is they're building the strength of their currencies amongst each other as a trusted form of trade, and then they're going to come together as a conglomerate to make a world reserve currency, another option in the earth. That's what they're going to do. It's, it's happening. Let's read. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Are they now saying bad things about you? And a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, how long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay? 
Shall they not all shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and awake that shall vex thee? They're gonna wake up to your nonsense. And they're gonna be a vexation to you, Babylon. And thou shalt be for booties unto them. Right, you're gonna be buying, you're gonna be going to get some Twinkies, and they're gonna be from Japan. That's right. Uh, I was watching this thing about Venezuela. This lady was talking about how uh, when they when they went through hyperinflation and their economic downturn, she said she could not buy a tampon. She hadn't seen a tampon in two years. Two years. She couldn't get them. Let's read. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveteth the evil covetousness to his house. Right, These are the things that they've done to bring forth this curse. That he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people, and hast sinned against thy soul. For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood, and establisheth the city by iniquity. Behold, is it is it not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity? That's right, you in this country, working hard, trying to be an entrepreneur, uh, you worrying about your career, it's going to be vanity for you. You're going to find out it's all lies. You've been wasting your time. You weren't dealing with the true education from the Heavenly Father. The fear of God was not in you, nor is the fear of God in this land. So this is the reasoning behind this curse coming, and many people are going to be caught off guard. Let's read Enoch chapter 21. Then I made a circuit to a place in which nothing was completed. And there are beheld neither the tremendous workmanship but of an exalted heaven, nor of an established earth, but a desolate spot prepared and terrific. There too I beheld seven stars of heaven bound in it together like great mountains and like a blazing fire. And I exclaimed, for what species of crime have they been bound? And why have they been removed to this place? Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, who conducted me, answered Enoch, Wherefore dost thou ask, and wherefore reason with thyself and anxiously require? These are those of the stars which have transgressed the commandment of the Most High God and are here bound until the infinite number of the days of their crimes be completed. Their crimes, just like what Rebecca was talking about, their crimes, Germany, French, Spanish, the British, Greeks, that's right. They're going to, you in those countries, also the United States, you in these countries, you're about to sit in the dust. Your printing press is going to backfire on you. It's under a curse. Let's get it. Enoch chapter 97. Mm-hmm. And in those days, the prayer of the righteous shall reach unto the Lord. And for you, the days of your judgment shall come. And all the words of your unrighteousness shall be read out before the great Holy One. And your faces shall be covered with shame. And he will reject every work which is grounded on unrighteousness. That's right. Woe to you, you sinners who live on the mid-ocean and on the dry land. Right, you're, 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 you're lukewarm. You live on the dry land. You ain't got this water. You, you didn't get this baptism whose remembrance is evil against you. Woe to you who acquire silver and gold and unrighteousness and say we have become rich with riches and have possessions and have acquired everything we have desired. That's right, you, you're a thief and a murderer. And now let us do what we purposed, for we have gathered silver. And many are the husbandmen in our houses. That's right, you got all the slaves. That's right. And our granaries are burned full as with water. Yea, and like water your lies shall flow away. For your riches shall not abide, but speedily ascend from you. Right? It's going to happen in an instant. For ye have acquired it all in unrighteousness, and ye shall be given over to a great curse. That's right. It's going to be the end of part one. I'm going to continue with Enoch in part two. And then we're going to get into Isaiah and other prophets. Um, famine because of men's blood. It's starting to pick up. 
and I would tell you to do not ignore this. Uh, it's a, it's cur this this land that we're in. It is cursed from God. Okay, um, let's give all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this understanding, uh, to keeping us prudent, studying the Scriptures, for bringing His grace upon us. Let's give all praise to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, so-called blacks, native indigenous Indians, Hispanics, Pacific Islanders of indigenous and Negro descent by the house of your father, and the Gentiles who are coming to this word and keeping the ordinance. Peace and blessings to you, and be on the lookout for part two. Shalom.